Welcome back, everybody, to another Let's Play here on King's Entertainment Reviews. Today, we are going to be playing Pixel Glory. We will be talking through the things that we're doing, but we hope that you already saw the review up on the channel and know all the rules to the game. So you'll be getting more of a running commentary than a rules explanation. But today, I am Jeremy. Today, I'm Jeremy. Not normally, but today, I'm Jeremy. And I am joined by the Numies, Christian. Hello. And producer Panda, Elaine. What's up? And we're going to be playing Pixel Glory, as I said. So, this so is, redundant. Yes, well, listen, that's what I bring. I bring redundancy. And redundancy is a good thing to have. But we're going to get right into the game. This is a deck building, monster slaying game. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to draft spells and basic attacks. Basic, uh, basic attacks, spells. And we're going to be fighting monsters that come out of this deck here. This is the health. This is our combo points. And like I said, we'll talk through it as we play. So we're going to start off with the town phase. And we're going to be auctioning to see who wants to get which spells. And we're going to look and see which ones we want. I am going to... <laughs> Think faster. Yes, okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, a seven. big old seven. All right, oh. I am going to go with... Um, this This screwed me up last time, but... Oh, does he do it? Do I do it? Are you stoning? Oh, no. No, I'm doing this one. Your water falling. <sighs> Oh, water, water sorry, that is water blee? Water blah? Oh, water blah, okay. Water blah. Water blah. All right, so. I have a quick question. I don't know if we know this. Can multiple um, instances of three combo be used in a single turn? Because I'm seeing now that you can get combo from the blue, like the water blah you just used. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. Because it would still allow you to select that option. Oh, Lane, that's the card I wanted. Well, Jeremy took my card, so it's only fair I took yours. True. All right, I'll take water. Just regular old water. Just the regular old water. Doesn't even get a cool name. That's kind of sad. Okay. Oh, you may discard any number of cards. Whoa. That's that is crazy. crazy. <laughs> Not removed from the game, though. Just discard. Um... All right, ready when you are, Jeremy. Come on. Uh, it's an auction. You got to move fast. Wheeling and dealing. Talking fast right. over here. Ready? Three. I'll be taking that smolder, please. Thank you very much. Oh, that's the one I wanted. I knew it was. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess it goes in clockwise or it goes in order well, of... I wouldn't three. descend. Didn't it? Okay, yeah. You put a three, I put a two. All right, so I'm next. Yeah, yes, indeed. Next. That's how I like how it says... It says nothing. It literally just says nothing. You get three waters. So I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. To take three waters. Also gives me three waters, and you get nothing to give you three waters. You can't count. I took four waters. Jeremy. This card's, worse than, this card's worse than just taking three waters. It is a dead card in your hand. It, yes. it goes towards SP, but that's about it. Yeah. That is... What is that one? Oh, that oh. is... Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I'm ready. I remember these. Most of these were in my uh, original. Yeah, we got film. Lava Axe, which is actually a magic card. And even the art. That's actually the art that's on the magic card for Lava Axe. Really? It's a deal five damage to target player. Oh, we tied. Oh, so well, I you have the pick. tiebreaker staff, so, so you get it first. We haven't. Oh, uh, we were supposed to be passing that. I would have gotten But you would have gotten it anyway last place, because you are so last. Now Christian would get the tiebreaker. Yes. Wait, why get the tiebreaker? Because I can't pick myself if I'm in a tie. So you would wind oh. up getting the tiebreaker and choosing before me. I was just reading but that. But that means I lose again and get the tiebreaker again, doesn't it? No. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. I just wanted a nice thing. So, so I'm, you pick I'm, first I'm picking. So I'm going to just read this real quick. Read it out loud. Remove this card from the game. Steal one combo point from the player with the most fame. If there is a tie, take it from the player closest to your left. If you are the player with the most fame, you do not steal a combo point. Fame is the uh, skull, the crowns. crowns. Yep. Um, I can see this being decent, but you know what? I am. I'm going to take it. Wow. Cool. I'll be taking Whirlpool. Cool. I wanted Lava X. Sort of. Not really. I don't know. Oh, Toxic. Don't you know that, that you're, you're toxic? toxic? You're toxic. Come sleeping under. 
We also got Fire Blue. Fire Blue. Fire Blue. Fire Blue. Fire Blue. Fire blue. Okay. Ready? Ooh. Two, two, four. So do I have the tiebreaker staff now or you have the tie you have the tiebreaker staff now. It would go to me now. Okay. But um you do use it now, so you'll go next. I go next? Yeah. Oh, cool. She picks, then you pick. Ear breath. Oh, I guess I'm taking toxic. Yeah, toxic, toxic I'm sleeping under. Wow. I get toxic. <laughs> Very annoying move in the Pokemon, especially when you're doing a nutty lock. Yes. Get badly true. poisoned. Empower, Perg, and Smokescreen. What are we doing here? I'm not sure how I feel about these cards. Here we go. And reveal. I wanted that Purge. I knew you did. It's okay. <laughs> I wanted the Empower. You did an eight. eight. Yes. So I get the tiebreaker guy. Uno, dos, three. Cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. It's a song. Oh, I missed that. Sorry, guys. Okay. Deal two damage for each fire card dealt this turn. Put two monsters and randomly deal six damage. And draw one card. Draw one card. Draw. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan. You're not a fan, huh? Never a fan, man. All right. Jeremy, Three, two, what are you picking? Uh, really? I knew I knew you had the highest. <laughs> yeah, take that bubble. Take that bubble. Bubble. Yeah, bubble. Bubble, buddy. All right, you have the tiebreaker staff, Elaine, so that's all you, and then I'll take the tiebreaker staff. Wait. Right? Yes. Really? You put a 7-2 or a 3-2? Yeah, we also yeah. put threes. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do a thing. Um, I'm going to take this one. Cool. I'll take the. Elaine's going with my strategy from last game because he she didn't play against you <laughs> last game. In our practice round, I have a Sorry. very fire heavy deck. Same. We woke up and chose extra violence. Okay. Uh, Three, two, one, five, eight. I'll go last. All right, then. I'm getting a rain dance. Another Pokemon move. Yes. Tidal wave. I think I know what happened. To Vine whip. Water and Another Pokemon move. <laughs> Deal 10 damage. Wow. That's kind of nice to have. Uh, a quick, big. But you have to lose a monster. Okay. That's a no good. I'm going to reveal three, two, one, six, six. six. So you go second, and I'll get this, and you go first. Hex, yeah. Hackers, yeah. Oh wow, I got this. Is the one that I got stuck with. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay, the last batch that I am not going to pick first. Because of the card I have left. Reveal. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I go second. Because you you have to pick the person to the left, right? Yes. Yeah, so, that's you. Let's see what this does. Hmm. Why don't you read it out loud? Quicksand. Opponents discard one card. Deal two damage for each basic attack. Discard it this way. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. but That card's a lot better in a three-player game than it was in the one of you on the journey yeah. we were doing. Deal two damage. Deal two damage to another monster. If there isn't another monster, you do not deal damage. That's interesting. I do. Yeah, like it is a lot better in the, the three player game. Um, I think I'm gonna take quicksand. I'll be taking quench. Oh no! I, I mean, this one's okay. That was my second choice. I didn't get any earth because uh, I grabbed a lot of earth. So we're both fire mages, and then there's this this guy trying to do. And we're like, nah, so now we are putting away. out the monsters. These are the monsters that we are supposed to be trying to kill. We kill them. What's the effect on this one? 
Um, if you deal seven or more damage to that uh, without killing it, you gain one combo point. And if you don't kill anything, that's in addition to the combo point you get for not killing anything. Okay, so the name of the game, and since I have the tiebreaker staff, oh no, actually no, it would have gone to you went last I was first place last time. I went last, so I have the tiebreaker staff. Okay, um, so the g- name of the game is trying to collaboratively kill the monsters, but we're trying to get the most fame for killing those monsters, which is the crowns at the bottom. So we want to be the ones who are going to be having those monsters we want the last hit on those monsters to be able to take the card and claim the glory yes these this is the health markers and these are the combo points we get combo points if we do not kill monsters or if a card effect says we get a combo point we draw four cards i already did that jerry so slow i was talking the people through it Uh you're too slow um and we're gonna see where we're at oh no are you are you I guess I go after you, don't I? You do. You do. I am going to Scooby put this in reserve. Oh wow, he's reserving. And I am going to deal one, two, two damage to this guy, and I'm going to deal one damage to this guy. Very good. And then it goes to Elaine. Okay. Show us what you got. Reserve. Um, one. Un fuego. One. Un aqua. <laughs> Do aqua. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah. Okay then. I shall begin by shall begin i shall oh we each get a combo point because we didn't kill anything good for you guys um i will draw two cards and then i may remove a card from my hand or discard pile from the game i will be removing this fire damage oh sorry table then i shall uh, that would be eh, eh. For anyone paying attention, if you play a, anything in this kind of little weakness chart here, it does an additional damage. Yes. So fire is strong against earth, earth is strong against water, and water is strong against fire. Okay, I'll do two water damage to this here, uh, Dracolich, I think it's called. Yes. All right, I'm going to do two more damage to it. Then I'll be getting my synergy off, so I will gain a combo point. I will draw a card, and I will deal two more damage, thus being three. Putting him down to three. I'll deal another two damage, and another two damage. He I did. I do not. So I, you I killed to, it. No, if, uh, if I deal seven or more damage to it without killing it. Without, without killing, killing it. it. Mm-hmm. This comes out. But I got my combo point from the card that I played. Put my graveyard right there. Okay. Let's see. What what am I killing? Am I killing anything? Who knows? I bet you do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Meh. So, stone form. Anytime you deal damage this turn, deal one additional damage. That's a really good card. It is a good card. So, I am going to... See, I don't like this one. Yeah, dude. Now, I don't like that one either, man. Now that I took it. I'm realizing you'll get to play it on the first turn and then that's gone. Yeah, it's gone forever. It removes itself from the game. Yeah. That's how bad Absorb and Toxic are. <laughs> whichever one you got. Um, so this does one damage, so it'll do an adi- additional damage. Not to him. Oh, oh yes, because I'm sorry, yes. That. Then Gosh, this does three total damage. Indeed it does. And then this does... Three total damage. And it will kill the cinder fly. It will kill the cinder fly. Whoa, the dragon keeper oh. or dungeon keeper is out. And I'm going to put this in reserve. 
Yeah, so if you kill the Dungeon Keeper, he has 14 health, he's worth 2, he has no weakness because he's not an elemental monster, and each player draws one card and gains one combo point, so it's good for all of us when it dies. But best for the one whose turn it is because they draw a card on their turn. Indeed, indeed. Deal 2 damage to each monster. Oh, wow. All right. Well, that's the Blobfish, I just realized. Oh, I the blobfish. The blob. The, I like how the quote is just blub. Blob. I'm going to deal two damage to this guy. Cleanse him. I have an exciting turn next and time. You may yes, remove a card from your hand <laughs> or discard a pile from the game, and I'm just going to get rid of a fire. Just like me. Just going to put it away. Get it out of here. So that's done. And get rid of that fire. I'm going to play two more waters. Get that blobfish. Join the club. Join the Blobfish Club. Um, 10 HP. 10. Plus 5 to hugs. Oh. Yeah. Eh. You know, it's just a little lore and text. My last water. One damage for the Dungeon Keeper. Oh, the Dungeon Keeper. Dungeon Keeper. Dungeon Keeper. All right, is that my turn then? Yes, it is your turn. Sounds good. Sounds real good. All right, I'm going to reserve hmm. this card right <laughs> here, and then I will commit two damage to the Sea Serpent and one damage to the Dungeon Keeper. Get your combo point. I'll take my combo point. Little Tofu Cubes. Tofu Cubes, not Tofu Cubes. <laughs> I'm upset. Why are you upset, Jeremy? Because. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't do nothing. You just said you were about to have a pop-off turn. You literally just showed the camera and said, I'm about to have a pop-off yeah, turn. Yeah, I was being sarcastic. Oh. We can do that here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my hand. <laughs> wow. I wish I could can't kill this. Relate. But... <laughs> So I'm going to do one. But if you do seven or more damage to this, you'll get a combo point. It is true. So you'll get two. You'll have three for next turn. That's true. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. I'll do the seven damage. Yeah, or do eight damage. Sorry. Set up a lane to kill that next turn. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. At least I get my combo point. And you get two. I get two combo points. But before I take the second combo point, I'm going to... Play absorb. What? So I take a, I take your combo point because you have the most fame, right? Or do you have? You're worth two. So now I have four, but now it's removed from the game. Yep. Away over here it goes. That was the one I had that I was talking about. Yep. So it was just going to either sit in my my uh, reserve indefinitely or get used. It was my turn. Uh. So, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I have three on my turn before I take the last one, meaning I could just kill something that's on the board. You could just get rid of that uh, cave troll. Or I could draw four cards and just try and kill it legitimately. That sounds rough. But I can also kill that one. I'm pretty much guaranteed to kill that one. Which one, the sea serpent? Yeah. You think so? I mean, I'd hope that I'd be able to do two damage. I'm going to spend three to draw four. And I am going to play transfer wounds. And I'm going to heal two on the dungeon keeper. And kill the sea serpent. And kill the sea serpent. Cool. Um, Real quick on that. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know if, hold on, can we, I, I hate to do this in a video, but one of the combo points you got uh, was from dealing seven damage to that. Oh, and then killing. I killed it. So you'd, you'd only have three to use at the end of the turn. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to go back. Yeah. Oh, no, that puts me in a bad spot then. Well, I wouldn't have been able to draw the cards. Correct. That's just your hand next turn. 
Yeah, that's my hand next turn. Okay, so yeah, um, I guess I'm I'm done. You do have four, though. <laughs> I do have four. <laughs> well, everybody knows now I have health trans <laughs> transfer wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Get your kill lane. I got you. I'll rules lawyer Jeremy back into submission. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Order of events is important. Indeed. A lot of bending going on in that card right there. Uh, Why are you bending the cards? I know in this game I can do what I want. Do what she says, not what she does, apparently. So that's at nine health right now. This is at nine health. This is at nine. Wow. I just like. I was really confused. I, I didn't realize that the heart went gone from the dungeon keeper. So I let it heal. I was just like, how did he? How did it heal? We didn't do the transfer wounds thing. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, Christian, it, it is, is your, your turn. turn. Can you kill the dungeon keeper? Um, no. I think no. Um. Well, I'll start by dealing three damage to everything. Everything's at six now. Whoa. Six is across the board. Significantly easier to kill things now. Just helped everyone out. I and know. The goodness of your heart. I know. I'm real excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that would be... I just don't know if killing the dungeon keeper actually helps me or not. Because I would probably not be able to... Yeah, let's just go for it. Content. Content, content, content. Two and two. Four, five, six. Goodbye. Dead. Dead dungeon keeper. So I get a, we all get a combo point. I draw, we all draw a card. Mm. I'm going to play this one last damage to do two damage to the Cerberus, and then I'll reserve one, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Okay, so I am going to play Purge, and I'm going to get rid of these three Earth cards. And then I am going to <laughs> So I could your pixels. I could just kill it. I don't think there's any way I can get two out of this turn, so I think I might as well just kill it. One so be two. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna play. No, I'm going to reserve this. There you go. Reserve it. Yeah. And then I'm going to play um, this to do damage. One, One damage. Two damage. Two damage. Three damage. So it'll have three. And then I am going to use my three to kill it. Interesting. Because if I hit anything else, it You're just right. makes it easier You're for. Right. Right. <laughs> Axolotl. It actually has axes. It does. Yeah, I like that. I do think it's cute. <clears throat> I can't get over that these look like tofu cubes you get in like a miso soup. The challenge points. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The combo points. They do. Is your turn complete? Or? Yes, my turn's complete. So this one, I have the two I need. So I'm going to deal five damage. You have to play them, though. Uh, I will. You have to play them first. Oh, play them first. So where's the one and one damage go first? So this would be four, right? Yes. I can math. Four damage. And then that would do the other five. Yes. And then I can remove up to three cards from your hand or discard pile from the game. Getting rid of these three waters. Oh, like, the Kraken. I thought I had to do one more damage. Five. Oh. Wait, no. It's Five weak. would go up to six. Yeah, yeah you're okay. fine. Math. Math. 
a crack and um what is this did you remove your three or up to three yeah they're over there now very good the old three and it's a may i didn't have to you'd be silly not to that's bad okay nom 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 all right so I'm he got some janky teeth look at them janky teeth he looks like he tastes has right. vanilla ice cream can you put the card down so i can make decisions I don't think you can kill this one. I know, but maybe I want to damage <laughs> that one, so... If you could do seven or more in a single turn without killing it, you will get a combo point. Two to that. That's not, that is five less than seven. I am aware <laughs> of how math works, Jeremy, believe it or not. And I seven is the count. most common number you can roll on two six-sided die. That is. Okay, Christian. It's me? It's get me. used to hear the, hearing that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll you'll hear it like three or four times during our early uh, Ori Calca video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to draw two cards and then discard two cards off of my reserve card. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> and by that, I mean, oh, no. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I guess I'm discarding two waters and dealing six damage to the carnivore plant. The carnivore plant. The carnivore can't. And that will Thieves be my can't. Turn. Thieves can't what? Oh. <laughs> Draw one card. The booble. The booble. The booble. Michael? Yes, Michael Booble. Do I? Do I? Do you? I don't know. Would I? Okay. Would you? One, two. So be two, four. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good for videos. Quietly thinking. Yeah, I know. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to think, though. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to go crazy. Oh. I'm going to. Bind whip. <gasps> discard my one. Get your cinder fly out of here. To kill this Cerberus. Kerberus. No. The Borf Borf is gone. And I am going to play. Dang, girl, you scary. <laughs> I'm about to get scary. Oh, no. Oh no! Damn, it's so close. What are you gonna do? I'm yeah. thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Think fast. I know. I know. It's hard to think. Thinking is hard. Okay, I'm going to transfer wounds. Oh wow! And I'm gonna heal two to the. Just move the cubes from one card to another. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> No one ever said that Jeremy was the brightest crane in the box. Heal two on the Kraken. And then I'm going to deal two damage to this guy here. And I am going to deal two additional damage to the that guy. And I'm going to reserve this. And now I'm done. Ooh, reserved. All right, Elaine. Get that gargantula out of here. Oh my god, I'm going to actually go through my deck this time. Wheel. This is going to deal six. This is so cool. This is, this is exactly the magic card lava axe. The little art, like the little axe coming towards Yeah, I like screen. that one. That one's cool. Ooh, that's another two. Is that the gargantula? That's the gargantula gone. Dang, girl, you scary. <laughs> oh, you this is the Dungan Lord. Oh, I don't get a combo point because I murdered it in one turn. Yes. Oh, no. This is what you get for healing things. That is what I get for healing things. Well. Um, sure. Yeah. There we go. I mean, we know. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We're yeah. Fine. Okay. Jeremy can math. I can math. It just hap so happened that we had really big HP things out at the same time. So criticism of the game that there's not enough cubes if you have three big HP I, I things out. I want to hurt one thing, but I'm like, I guess I can't because cubes. Cubes. So, um, I mean, you could hurt the Dungan Lord and I could take off the combo points thing so it's cleaner. We could, yeah. We could <laughs> yeah. If we can free up one of the hearts. This is still in my reserve. These have been used. Oh, just one damage you did? 
Wait, that didn't do anything. You did a nothing. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's a nothing. It literally oh, wow. says nothing. I can't even get the water off that. No. How sad. It's not even a basic attack. You need to get discarded, <laughs> it, It's, it's a right. deadness card. So I'm going to play Rain Dance, which lets me draw two cards and discard one. I draw one, oh. and then I got to shuffle my deck up. Children, it is over. Oh, it good. is over. It's over. You got a lot. Oh, you're all screwed, children. Oh, good. No, I'm going to lose. You I don't have a lot. I only have two cards. You would have had three, but you had to play your Vine Whip. Yeah. I would have had three. Did you know Vine died back in 2017? That is true. I was watching a video the other day talking about uh, like old Vine stars. Like the pretty white kids Vine star the that pretty was pretty white kids. that was like very popular when Vine was popular. The same like the group that Logan and Jake Paul uh, kind of ushered in. Mm. Uh, I'm going to discard this water card and then I'm going to play Empower, which draws me two more cards, and then I can get rid of this water from my discard pile. I should have played this. I didn't. I'm, I'm glad I didn't play my reserve card. I will play... I'm an all-powerful being, and you're going to get annihilated. Are you? Fire and brimstone. Well, you already have the most cards. Biznatches. Biznatches. Um, I'm going to deal six damage to a random monster. How are we going to determine... All right, so here's, here's how we're going to determine this real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. I want you guys to flip one of each of those energy cards face down, and I want you... Um, so this water will correspond to this. Yep. Earth... Fire. Yep, so Good. don't let me see him, and I'm going to pick one at random, and that will be what does six damage. So, Dungeon Lord. Dungeon Lord takes six damage. So, we're going to remove these five cubes and one extra cube. Very cool. Very, very cool. Cubes. Right. Oh my God, cubes. All right, so with that said, he now has 14 health. Can I do 14 damage? I doubt it. I also doubt it. Um, so what are you going to do instead, Christian? What am I going to do instead, Elaine? I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to deal three damage uh, to this guy here. What is it called? The Magmadon? Yeah. Uh, so it'll be one extra damage, right? Because it's a water? Yes. All right. So now I can trigger the synergy on my water attack, which will gain me a combo point, Ooh. draw me a card, and deal two more damage, thus being three damage dealt to Magmadon. I will then use my... Use my what? What do I use? Tell me. What do I use? What do you use? What do I use? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think, think faster, Christian. I can do much. I think he's I'll still do he's still thinking faster than I yeah. was, so it's okay. I mean, we all know you're very slow in the thinking department. But we wow. Still okay, like to be honest, wow. if we're playing a half hour long game, it takes at least 45 minutes because your turns take so freaking long. I mean, I'm just going to check your pile real quick. I'll look at my pile. Okay, so I'm going to... That's mine. <laughs> it is indeed. Don't touch my thing. True. Um, Christian. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Yeah, I'm going to throw the rest of this damage at this guy to put him down to one, and then I'm going to pull a Jeremy play and use the three cubes to kill it. <laughs> That's a good play. I like that play. But now I can't kill it, so I don't like that play. Very good. <clears throat> okay. He's fine with that. So I'm going so to clear. draw one card and then deal four damage. I should have reserved the smolder. Oh, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to deal... Oh, wait, I have to deal four damage. So I'm going to deal... I feel like she's going to beat it anyway. One, two, that's four. Oh, oh, my God. My turn's been 30 seconds long. Um, <laughs> Jeremy, I want you to know, you have to kill both of these to win the game, and whoever between Elaine and I kills the Dungeon Keeper wins the game. Okay. Um, so this is four. This would be six. You're not winning this game, Christian. I, won't I can't kill either of them, so I'm just going to, I'm going to throw a Hail Mary out here. Do the four damage to, no wait, oh no, if this does four damage, it's eleven. No, I still can't do it. So <laughs> I'm going to do the four damage to this, 
Then I'm going to do an additional two damage, which knocks it down to this. Then I'm going to deal an additional two damage. Oh, whoops. Which knocks it down to that. And then I'm going to play Toxic. Remove it from the game on the Kraken. Okay. And so now it does, at the end of my turn, I get a combo point. Uh-huh. And then it does three damage to this. For each turn it'll do that. Yeah. At the end of each turn. So this goes down to that. Each turn, not just your turn. Yeah. The end of each player's turn. Okay. Because I'm assuming if I knock that down to three, you'd be able to kill it and I wouldn't have been able to benefit from it oh, anyway. Funny. So It's dying. Yeah, she's going to do six damage to it. <laughs> one damage. Uh, which one? You, you can split damage, right? You can just play the when you play. I mean, you just play them separately. Yeah. If, if it says, says deal two damage, you have to deal it to one target. Yes. Oh, one target. Okay. It's an instance of damage. Correct. Oh no! I lost it. I I come in third placed. One. All right. Two. Got you. Um, how much is there? Nine. I think we're trying to kill the dungeon lord. Shush. She will. <laughs> Give her a chance. <laughs> She's only played Shit. three out of the four cards she can. Five, technically. Deal two damage for each fire card played this turn. That's eight. Once I play this one. Okay, so you have to deal 7 damage to one target and 10 damage to another. So you could do 7 here and 10 damage there. That's the game. Yeah. Game, Dungan Lord. Jeez. I told you, everything will burn fire and brimstone. <laughs> Hellfire. Wow, you just, happened to get, you just happened to get all the fire into one hand. I mean, she was holding the sky. Of oh, yeah, right? true. Yeah, that was my reserve card for a while. Every, like, since turn two. Yeah, my, I, the, I realized kind of towards the end of that, that the, the ones that I shouldn't have used vine whip. I don't, I mean, I don't think it would have mattered. I if you had, you. if you had kept the, the one point you had extra and managed to kill the dungeon Lord, you would have had eight points to her and I having seven. So you then would still need to kill the other two point value thing to win the game. You still needed to kill everything on that turn, regardless of whether or not you vine whipped. Yeah. <laughs> I was just, just so clear. it didn't matter. And these are not as great as, I mean, this would be good to get early on, I think. But towards the end, it was like, it, there was no point. It wasn't going to come back around. I'm of the opinion that uh, there are obvious themes that go with each of these elemental types. And the <clears throat> two themes that seem prevalent for the earth elemental is that the removing things from your discard or hand at like a large quantity and doing these like really weird middling effects. Yeah. That's what I kind of noticed from green. From blue, I noticed it's a lot of like drawing and discarding and uh, direct interaction with challenge points based on some of the cards that we saw and one of the cards that I was playing in particular. And then for fire, it is really just about a bunch of damage. Yeah, just straight damage. Hellfire. Yes, hellfire. <laughs> so I like Endeavor now. Yeah. Hellflame? No, I think Hellflame is quite I think whatever. it's Hellflame, but... Yeah. As a as the winner, do you want to give your thoughts on the how that went in general? Uh, well, I won, so everything was great. But um, I think fire is the way to go, even though I killed predominantly water monsters. Apparently, um, you did. I think like a lot of it's just kind of like mental math and being like, well, I think the odds are good that no one else will murder this, and I'll get to murder it, and then I'll get points because you know I like those. It's hard to expect yeah. a monster to come back around. If you're playing with three people. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like if I didn't kill something, I'm like, well, these monsters are probably not going to be on the board by the time it gets back around to my turn. Maybe one of them will be left. There are three cards that I was not very jazzed about having. And that was the rain dance, the flame dance and the whirlpool. I had Brian. Shush. <laughs> yeah, but that, that did nothing. These cards had a uh, Po potential positive impact for other players. And I think that's a real big downside. Yeah. Like, uh, for instance, the Rain Dance card, which is one of the first cards I played on the last turn that I got to have, which was draw two and discard one. The synergy point for it is a random player draws three cards. That's awful. Yeah. That's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
These, these cards hurt the most. I think it's also because I wanted to keep a low deck size and having all the extra basics really screwed me up. I had two turns where it was just four basics. And even on a turn where I drew, I think it was Quench or Empower, I got to draw two extra cards, like see two extra cards. And even then, I just saw more basics. And it was yeah. just really uh, uninteresting. That was what we were, we, uh, Christian and I played a game before we did, you know, this game. But, and it, I had a huge deck that I didn't even get through in the game. I had so many basics because I was like, oh, I'm going to lean into all the synergy and I'll be able to get a lot of synergy. But then the problem is, unless you're going all one color for the synergy, you're not seeing your synergies anyway because you have so many, so much variety of basics and you're drawing a lot of four basic hands, which suck. Yeah. A big part of this to remember is that realistically, and you're guaranteed to see nine text-based cards. So the objective is you want to see those nine text-based cards as often as possible, which is why in our practice game, I very quickly was drafting into mostly Earth because I wanted to get the synergy effects off to remove extra things from my deck. Mm -hmm. I want to say in that practice game we had, I think at the end of the game, I had less than 15 cards in my total deck size. Yeah. That means the majority of the cards that I could possibly see were the actual text-based cards. Yeah, not basic attacks. And that's really the way to go. I mean, Elaine seemed to draft a lot of basic cards in that game, but also yeah. they were mostly fire, so it was just like straight damage. Yeah. I'm, I'm the Hellfire Witch. Hellfire. No? Yes. Well, if you like these Let's Plays that we have been doing, please hit that like button. Let us know that you like the video. And leave a comment down below. Have you played Pixel Glory? Have you played any games like this? What's your favorite deck builder? It's a lot of questions that I'd love to see answered. And if you have any recommendations for games that you'd like to see us try out in the future, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up. Ding, ding. And I'll catch you in the next one.